Are you thinking of spending money on Genesis crystals? If yes, then I recommend watching this because it might just save you a bunch of money. There's this website called Loot Bar GG, where you can save up to 20% compared to in-game purchases. Since Loot Bar uses the official partnership route, you can enjoy all the official Hoyaverse recharge events, meaning you can get twice the amount of Genesis crystals if you have the bonus. This is how I purchased 6,560 Genesis crystals for only $47. Huh? All I had to do was provide my UAD and make the payment, and one to two minutes later, I received the crystals on my account. No hassle. It's completely safe and secure, and has thousands of good reviews on their website. Even big shots like Dukaja, Tevat Times, and Jello Impact approve of Loot Bar, so head over to the link in the description and start saving money. New users get 5% off their first purchase. Hello everyone! Today we will be talking about Columbina, Capitano, and more. We are giving away three Welkins when we reach 7,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe. The first update is about Columbina, who is now confirmed to be a playable character in Natlan. Initially, there was some uncertainty about her becoming a playable character or not, but the latest information confirms she will be playable. Meanwhile, Capitano, who was also rumored to be playable, will not be available in Natlan after all. Columbina's release is expected to be around patch 5.6, following a pattern similar to Arlecchino's release in version 4.6. Moving on to Mavuika, she is now rumored to be a five-star Shangling. Previously, it was suggested that she might function like a Pyro Raiden, applying Pyro off-field while another character attacks. These abilities seem to complement each other, making this a likely possibility. There is also Shabalan K, and he is expected to be a main DPS, but that's all that we know for now. Right now, we know nothing about when he is expected to release. Now, let's take a look at Mulani. Mulani has received new nerfs that affect her exploration abilities, unlike her previous combat-focused adjustments. Previously, her skill granted 60 Knight Soul points, which gradually diminished over time, with additional points used for actions like jumping or dashing. However, it's now been revealed that these movements will consume even more Night Soul points. For instance, her jump and dash combination, which once required 12 points, now takes 24 points, depleting nearly 40% of her Night Soul points with a single action. This change significantly reduces her overall utility and enjoyment during exploration. Before we continue, Make sure to check out our Discord server to take part in giveaways, participate in challenge events like this one, get instant leaks and updates, and hang out with other Genshin players, including me. Link is in the description. You might be wondering about Night Soul, a new feature set to debut with Natlan. It's somewhat similar to the Bond of Life mechanic from Fontaine. The Night Soul has three instances, one of which features animations reminiscent of the Wuthering Waves intro effect. While it may sound a bit complicated at first, especially since we're relying on descriptions instead of actual visuals, it should become clearer once it's fully revealed. That's all. Thanks for watching and subscribe, or you'll lose your 50-50 to Chi-Chi.